When we first received photographs of Pluto, it was nothing short of mind-blowing. This tiny, distant world, far from the warmth of the sun, had always been thought to be a cold, dead rock, its surface frozen and unremarkable. But what we saw defied every expectation. Pluto was alive with activity, and what we thought we knew about it was suddenly in question. Scientists are now scrambling to understand the shocking details hidden beneath its icy surface. One of the most extraordinary discoveries came from none other than Pluto's most famous feature, its heart-shaped, glacier, Sputnik Planitia. But this glacier is no ordinary sheet of ice. It's a nitrogen glacier, stretching across over a million square miles of Pluto's surface. Beneath this thick, frozen nitrogen, researchers believe there could be something incredible, a vast ocean of liquid water. This discovery suggests that Pluto, far from being a cold, lifeless body, may have been defying the odds for billions of years. Alan Stern, the principal investigator of NASA's New Horizons mission, believes this could be the first piece of evidence in proving that life could exist in the most unlikely places. Before we dive into the mind-boggling details, it's clear that Pluto's icy heart is hiding something extraordinary, something that could challenge everything we thought we knew about the potential for life in the universe. But the heart isn't the only thing that has scientists scratching their heads. Pluto's surface is telling a story of geological activity and dynamism that was previously thought to be impossible for such a small, distant planet. On Pluto, vast mountain ranges made of solid water ice rise over four miles high, towering structures that rival some of the tallest mountains on Earth. And yet, Pluto is just a fraction of the size of Earth itself, so how could it support such dramatic geological features? What's even more fascinating, is the smoothness of certain areas on Pluto's surface. Sputnik Planitia, for instance, is devoid of the craters we would expect after billions of years of asteroid impacts. Instead, it is covered in bizarre, polygonal patterns that suggest something extraordinary is happening beneath the ice. This pattern indicates convection, a process where heat from Pluto's interior causes its icy surface to churn and move, almost like a lava lamp. But there's no molten lava here, just ice, constantly shifting and reshaping the landscape. So, what's driving this strange activity on Pluto? Scientists speculate that Pluto's core could be radioactive, slowly breaking down and releasing heat over time. This could be just enough to keep the subsurface ocean from freezing solid, even though Pluto is far beyond the traditional habitable zone of our solar system. And this brings us to the big question, could there be life in Pluto's ocean? Brian Cox, a renowned physicist, has suggested that if there is liquid water on Pluto, life might not be too far behind. It doesn't need to be complex organisms, it could even be simple microbes. But this would be a groundbreaking discovery for science. It would prove that life might not just be possible on Earth or within the narrow, habitable zones we've imagined, it could exist in places we've never thought to look. The evidence for a hidden ocean beneath Pluto's icy crust goes even further. Pluto's orientation seems to have shifted over time, likely due to the massive weight of the ice on its surface. This shift could explain why Pluto's glacier is perfectly aligned with its largest moon, Charon, suggesting a gravitational dance between the two bodies. The cracks and faults, stretching across Pluto's surface are also signs of flexing and movement, further supporting the idea of a liquid layer beneath. If Pluto's ocean is confirmed to exist, it would raise tantalizing questions about the potential for life. The ocean could be insulated by a thick layer of ice, protecting it from the extreme cold and cosmic radiation on Pluto's surface. This means that life, possibly even the simplest form of microbial life, could survive in these harsh conditions. But it's not just about finding microbes. It's about demonstrating that life can exist in environments vastly different from Earth. 
yet proving the existence of Pluto's ocean is far from easy. The New Horizons mission, which passed by Pluto in 2015, provided a snapshot of just 40% of Pluto's surface. There is still so much to discover. Alan Stern and his team are already advocating for a follow-up mission, a Pluto orbiter, that could spend years studying Pluto in incredible detail. Such a mission could confirm whether Pluto's ocean exists and open up new avenues for studying potential life beyond Earth. The implications of this discovery extend far beyond Pluto itself. For decades, scientists believed that a planet's ability to support life was limited to a specific region around its star, called the habitable zone, where liquid water could exist. This zone was thought to end far before Pluto's orbit, but the discovery of a potential ocean on Pluto challenges this idea. What if life can survive in places far beyond the traditional habitable zone, hidden beneath layers of ice? This discovery forces us to rethink the very boundaries of what is possible in the universe. If Pluto can have a subsurface ocean, could there be similar conditions on other icy worlds, like Europa, Enceladus, or even moons orbiting distant stars? Could oceans be more common than we ever imagined? But the surprises don't stop there. For years, scientists believe Pluto formed gradually, accumulating ice and rock over millions of years. This slow process would have left Pluto cold and dormant. But recent studies suggest something entirely different, Pluto may have formed quickly and violently, with massive collisions generating enough heat to create a liquid ocean that could have been maintained ever since through radioactive decay. If this is true, it means Pluto's ocean could have been around for billions of years, long enough for life to potentially emerge. And Pluto might not be alone in this. Other dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt, like Haumea and Makemake, could also harbor hidden oceans. This opens up an entirely new frontier for exploration and redefines our understanding of how life could begin in the universe. Despite all this excitement, exploring Pluto and its neighbors is no small task. The New Horizons mission took nearly a decade to reach Pluto, and it only spent a few hours gathering data during its flyby. A dedicated orbiter mission, like the proposed Pluto orbiter, would take even longer, possibly over 27 years, to reach Pluto and spend extended time studying it in detail. The technology required for such a mission is monumental, and the cost could exceed $3 billion. But for many scientists, the potential discoveries are worth every penny. The chance to study Pluto's ocean, geology, and atmosphere could completely transform our understanding of the solar system and our place in it. As scientists continue to analyze data from the New Horizons mission, they're uncovering more surprises about Pluto's complexity and activity. Its heart-shaped glacier, the potential ocean beneath, and its shifting surface are just the beginning. These discoveries are reshaping our understanding of where and how life might exist in the universe. Pluto's hidden ocean is not just a fascinating feature, it's a clue to what might be possible in the farthest, most unlikely corners of space. Exploring Pluto, and other icy worlds forces us to ask new questions. Could there be microbial life hidden beneath the ice on distant moons? Could Pluto's surprising geology reveal secrets about the formation of life on Earth, or the possibility of life elsewhere? In the end, Pluto's icy secrets remind us of one fundamental truth, the universe is full of surprises. Even the smallest and most distant worlds can hold the key to understanding the origins of life. Pluto, once considered a frozen, unremarkable dwarf planet, has proven that it is so much more. And as we look deeper into the cosmos, who knows what other unexpected wonders are waiting to be discovered.